Do we move on to Peaky Blinders? Yes. Yes. Oh, go, oh, Luke, what was the result of the uh, the poll? Oh, the poll? I asked, oh, for tonight's podcast, we watched two shows we've never reviewed or seen. Which of the two do you imagine I preferred? 56% said they thought I would prefer Bloodline. Uh, sorry, Peaky. I didn't get that wrong, and I'm looking <laughs> at it right now. 56% said they, <laughs> they thought I'd prefer Peaky Blinders to 44 who said Bloodline. And so, what's the yeah. re- what's the actual results? Well, let's talk about let's talk about them, and we'll we'll get Peaky there. Peaky Blinders. Do we need a sort of preamble? Not really. This is his third knows series. What Peaky Blinders is, and yeah. you well, know, Pe- we really need Gary's to... seen it now, and he might not. Still might not know. <laughs> No, they watched it on Gogglebox this week. They did, and that and oddly, I hadn't seen this first episode when I watched it, and I did find myself drawn in by the scene. You were a bit they like on Gogglebox. Um, Mr. Moffat, who went, "Why yes. haven't we watched this before? Why haven't we seen this before? It's this good. is bloody canny, like." <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I said at the time. <laughs> Sorry to everyone from uh, Newcastle upon time. <laughs> we kind of know what Matt feels. Actually, though, I think when I first saw the first episode, listening back to myself, I enjoyed it more than subsequent episodes than I've seen. So wow, I, I'm so surprised. You, I never you, got you in the past. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised when I listened back and you said, "Oh yeah, yeah, I'll watch it." I liked the show. There were a couple of things that annoyed me. The music annoyed me. I thought the music. I said the exact same thing. I said that in my was original review. Completely inappropriate for the style and the theme of the show. I think the thing that, that that you get is how good Cillian Murphy is. He is the lead. He is the focal point of the series. Everything kind of rotates around him. Although um, I think the best performance is Helen McCrory, personally. Yes, oh, well, she's yeah, brilliant. Uh, Aunt oh, Paul. He's very good, but I, I, I think I think Cillian Murphy is supposed to be... He's the, very the captivating. He is a very captivating. You can believe, you can understand why these people would follow him. You get a very clear division of lines. So there's the, the, you know, what you get this Peaky Blinders group. You've got the factory where everybody works and the communists. Yeah, communism, that, yeah. That's right, that yeah. run it. And and the interesting thing is, is how much they deal with, you know, this is set in, in 1912. When, when no, is 1919. 1919. So this is really close to the end of the First World, after the end of the after First After the end. Because the two, the communist guy and Tommy fought together, didn't they? Or something that's like right, that. yeah. Mm. And he was, one of the things that you, you get is that uh, Chilean Murphy's, Chilean Murphy's character was a sergeant major. So he was a leader in the army. You know, he wasn't just a, a foot soldier. Um, he was a leader. I really believed him as a character. And I really believed that he murdered that guy at the end. I really thought that he was, was a... dead. Brilliant. I really thought he executed him. Had you actually seen this any of this before? Had you watched any me, episodes? Me? I had seen probably half, sort of the first half of one. And why didn't one, you... But wasn't really... I don't think I was really paying attention. Oh, I don't okay. think, and to be honest, I was midway through it again and thinking, oh, I don't know it. And then when the, the Irish girl comes in, the singer in the bar... And the dynamic sort of changes. I thought, no, this is really good. By the end... He's an undercover cop. But I have to say, 53% now it is say that I would prefer Peaky Blinders. I really, really did. Mm. Yeah, I... I will watch this again. I think out of the two... I don't think... I don't... I don't know. I don't... I mean, I've seen the... I think maybe sort of... I've got other knowledge because I have watched the more, more recent... The first episode of... Season three. Mm-hmm. Gary said the music was one thing that put me off. The other thing was the constant sort of use of slow mo throughout the episode. I it's just the going the style over. They're going for And the... I, I, I think the sort of use of this style almost take is it almost takes you out of believing in the sort of right. this is what happened in the time period. It's almost I, I sort of made it akin to like a comic book film. That's what it feels like right. to me. The colour is a bit off from everything mm-hmm. else. Yes. The way yeah. the the music, the modern music, the the camera shot. I think there are bits in each epi- in the episode of series season. See, th- yeah, the, you the can do with your the, the one that's on at the moment. <laughs> that one. There was a great bit because it was uh, Tommy's wedding, and Arthur yeah. had to give a speech. And I think yeah. the ho- entire bit with Arthur's speech was brilliantly done. But I just think yeah. when it descends into the violence, and I think people expect the violence from it now, yeah. that sort yeah. of really rough and ready violence, and it do- 
it, it sort of almost feel disconnected from it. And is there it sort are... of fulfilling its own prophecy yeah. now, becoming there, the show people and think it is. And there's a weird rather... plot now where, like, Winston Churchill is a character and wants well, to he's use... Well, he's in the pilot. He's in yeah. this first yeah, episode, yeah. but he yeah. now wants to use Tommy for something, and it's like, yeah. as you say, Silly Murphy's brilliant. Helen McCrory is just absolutely... The matri- like, this sort of so... ballsy matriarch character. I don't know. I won't probably carry on it's with a... either. There's There's a room... And they say, if you go in this room, there's nothing else on the telly, just football. Go in this room, you can finish Bloodline. Go in that room, you can catch up on Peaky Blinders. Which one would you do, Matt? Probably, uh, if I hadn't seen any other Peaky Blinders other than the first yeah. one, it might be Peaky Blinders. I've seen the first episode of each series. I yeah. think I'd probably be more inclined to see Bloodline just based on that. Do, on. do you think also with Peaky Blinders, because you've dipped in and out... Yeah. And not done it in one big line like is the way it's supposed to be done. That maybe your views. Yeah, maybe. At it, at it and I have watched as well the thing the BBC did where they put like what's happened in the first two series. You know, they've yeah. started doing that now with like the yeah. line of duty and Happy Valley and things like that. Yeah. So I did do that. So I had some context to watch the third one of the two. I think Peaky Blinders had the stronger first episode. I think it lures people in more and gives you more of an idea of what this is about it sets it sort of yeah. it's cards on the table if you will at the time as well we were busy watching educating yorkshire which was yeah. on the same time on a thursday night and also as i've listened back to that podcast also the guilty was on and yeah if, i know if you were, I wish I'd have seen. and if you were if you <laughs> were wondering what you were watching gary you were watching bates motel Gosh, yeah, never did. <laughs> never Gary, did. Um, Sorry, yes. Same scenario to you then. Which room do you go in? Bloodline room, Peaky Blinders room. Peaky Blinders, I think. I, I think the show just had a little bit more that grabbed me than mm. Bloodline. Uh, and I, I think, as Matt said, you know, when you watch a series that you don't know that much about or that you go back to, you, you're looking for that hook. As you said, the violence draws you in because you know it really does make you think something major is going to happen. Mm. So do you envisage, I know I know Matt's answer to this, but do you envisage Gary going into the Peaky Blinders room? Yeah, I think I or will. I... As you mentioned, there's going to be a whole lot of sport. I will be watching it. There's no denying that. But even, you know, when England regrettably go out of the European Championships at the group stages, uh, then I'll need something to drown my sorrows in. <laughs> 